All right, let's talk about how to set up your own custom auto checkout bot for Target using BotBro. So this bot will check a product um, on Target's website, see if it is in stock. And if it is in stock, it will go through the checkout process automatically for that product. So um, the first thing you wanna do is go to botbro.io. I will link it in the description. And then download um, the application for either Windows or Mac, depending on uh, what kind of computer you're on. So I already have it installed, but I'll go ahead and install it again, just so you guys can see. So if you're on Windows, you will see uh, something that looks like this. Um, the reason for this is just because it uh, comes from an unknown publisher. Um, I am that unknown <laughs> publisher, so I can, I can vouch for its safety. Um, if you're on Mac, you'll see uh, something similar, except for you will need to go to the uh, settings and then security and privacy and click open anyways from there. So I'm going to hit run anyways. Um, the installer will run and then the application will launch. So for you, whenever it launches, you will be prompted with a login page. Um, for me, since I've logged in before, it remembers me and I'm, you know, automatically logged in. So for you, you will need to create an account and uh, and and then log in. And full disclosure, it is uh, ten dollars to use, um, which, in my opinion, is very worth it. Uh, and it's a lot cheaper than any alternative that I am aware of. So, and very user friendly too. So, once you're signed in, uh, the first thing you want to set up is your notification settings. So. Um, this is where you can put your email and your phone number. I have fake information in here because I don't want all of you to have my email and phone number. So um, you can put your stuff in here, set up what kind of notifications you want to receive, and then uh, just click save. And then you want to do the same thing for your auto purchase settings. Again, bogus information because I don't want you guys to to know my target login and uh, certainly not my card number. But anyway, so... Put in your target email and password, and then the uh, card number for your default payment card that Target uses. So this is important. You need to make sure in your Target account you have a default payment uh, card set up and a default address set up, because those two things are what the bot will use to go through the checkout process. So do that in your Target account, once you have that done, come here and, and fill out your target email, password, default card number, and security code. And the reason that um, this information needs to be put here is because sometimes during the checkout process, target will ask uh, to confirm um, the card number or security code, and the bot needs to know that information in order to um, confirm it. So, and... For your peace of mind, this is not stored anywhere other than on your computer, so um, BotBro is not going to steal your information. All right, so once you have your settings set up, uh, let's go ahead and create a bot. So I'm going to use the Oculus Quest for an example just because it is in stock, so you can see what happens whenever um, a product is in stock. So you will paste the product page URL in the URL box, you will name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it uh, Oculus Bot, and then set the refresh rate. I would recommend setting it at 10 or 15 seconds. Um, you don't want to go too fast because you don't want Target to uh, look at you and be like, "Huh, that's suspicious. That person is visiting the site every second." So uh, I'll do 10 seconds. Make sure you have Target selected for the website, auto purchase selected for the bot type. And then you can do local pickup if uh, that's what you're looking for. I'm just going to leave it off um, and do delivery. So click add, and that will create a bot over here. You'll see it pop up on the left side, Oculus bot with uh, the settings below it. And then all you have to do to run the bot is click the play button. So this will fire up a separate browser window. Check to see if the product is in stock. You can see my cursor is not moving, so this is all the bot. And then um, if the product is in stock, it will go through the checkout process for either local pickup or delivery, depending on your settings. 
so it is in stock, so it's going ahead and signing into my target account and going through the checkout. Now, um, I'm gonna stop it real quick. So you can see that it, it stopped here for me because I don't have you know my default address or payment information set up because again, this is a fake account that I'm using uh, as an example, but for you, um, this would be pre-populated with your default stuff that you have set up under your target account and then it would place the order from here and you would be good to go. So um, that is how you make a target bot using BotBro. You can do the same thing for Walmart, um, any product, and uh, you can do the same thing for notifications for any website. Um, but that's how you do it for Target. So I hope um, this video was helpful. Please feel free to ask any comments um, and, and I'll, I'll try to respond to them as well as the quickest way to get a response is um, directly through the contact page um, on the BotBro website. So um, yeah, good luck everyone getting those uh, hard to get and low stock items and happy Thanksgiving.